Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a uh, what I'm writing with video. So um, I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time. I'm just going to get started because I've got 10 pens this week that I am writing with. Uh, so there's a couple of uh, old favourites here, a couple of new pens and some interesting ink which I think uh, is kind of cool. So what I'll do is I'll start with the old uh, favourite. This is the uh, Lamy 2000 of course a pen that uh, a lot of people know, um, so let's just get cracking. So this is what I'm writing with. And this is the February edition. So, as I said, we start with the Lamy 2000 and this has a medium nib and the ink is diamine oxford blue this is a really nice uh dark blue ink um i've spoken a lot about how much i love this ink uh, and in this pen which is quite a wet pen um, i think you get a really interesting uh, writing experience and a really great everyday writing experience it's dark enough for professional use uh yet has just a little bit of uh, character on the page. So this is the Lamy 2000 with Diamine Oxford Blue. Next pen I have is a pen that uh, I'm currently reviewing uh, and this is the Laban Flame. So I reviewed the uh, Sun which was the orange model uh, and I was sent this one um, the flame to do a review of so that's coming up um, And I've got this ink with a very nice sort of standard everyday writing ink. So this is the Laban Flame which is from the 325 or Cambridge series uh, And the ink I have oh that's a broad it's just a, a plain sort of broad Yovo nib, um, and the ink is Aurora Black. Another very nice wet ink, uh, and one that I really, really like. It's dark, it's, as I said, it's wet, it's got a lot of character, vibrancy, well, not vibrancy, but like depth, which is really nice. And I really like the material of that pen. Like that is really beautiful. So, and this, and, even, and this ivory sort of acrylic as well, I think is great. Next is the Moonman T1, a relatively new pen uh, and another one that's being reviewed. Um, now, this is the first of three pens that I've got inked with inks from uh, a company that I'm quite excited about, and that is Color Traveler. Um, they sent me three inks to uh, look at, so this is the first one. It's actually sort of my favourite of them. And uh, this pen is actually nice as well, sort of this aluminium, you know, sort of like a uh, piston knob and grip section and cap, and then uh, a nice sort of acrylic body with a, a good sort of piston filling and uh, the regular sort of Moon Man nib. This is the Moon Man T1. With a, this is their medium nib. I think it's also like a 0.5 ish sort of nib. Uh, and the ink is Color Traveler. Kure Battleship Yamato Gray. So, a lovely gray ink with some beautiful depth to it. Uh, it looks great here on this Tomo River paper. This is a uh, 52 gram to Tomo River paper in, a in an Alaya notes uh, notebook. Um, but you can see the beautiful gray, really nice sort of simple gray, but with some nice sort of depth and some interesting shading. So check out the review of that and these next two inks coming up soon. The next uh, uh, one I have from Color Traveler is in my Twisby Diamond 580, which a lot of you will know is an absolute favorite pen of mine. And the, this is the Twisby Diamond 580 with their nice uh, steel medium nib, very wet, smooth, beautiful writer, great ink capacity, lovely size pen, lovely weight pen. The ink here is Color Traveler.
just making sure I get the name right here, it is Hiroshima. Hiroshima Lemon Yellow. Quite an interesting ink. It's sort of got this sort of greeny, sort of yellow, olive sort of colour to it. But what I really, really like about it is just how um, wet that ink is. And it does shade nicely. And as you'll see on this Tomo River paper, it's beautiful. The last of these uh, Colour Traveller inks that I am uh, using at the moment is in my Monteverde Giant Sequoia pen, the brown finish. I just love this material. Um, and... I think I love this pen model and the size of it and the feel of it in the hand. And uh, so this is the Monteverde Giant Sequoia. Well, I hope I spelled that right. Um, this is their medium nib. It's very fine for a medium. I have done some work to sort of uh, make it a little bit wetter because it was uh, quite dry uh, when I when I got it. Um, uh, and the ink is Color Traveler. Traveler at time for whiskey. Nice ink, nice sort of browny orange, um, and just really nice on the page. Once it, these inks look like they're pretty wet, they've got a nice sort of a uh, sort of flow to them and I think they shade nicely as well, particularly on this Tomo River. Uh, next pen I have inked is a, a sort of a, an old favourite and a really lovely sort of carry pen. This is the Millen Pro Brass Pocket Fountain Pen. I did a full review of this uh, a little while back uh, and uh, I've loved using it and I still continue to love using it. I think it's a really great minimalist design. The brass is great. Um, it's got a nice little, very little Schmidt nib there on it. But very nice pen. Uh, so this is the Milam Pro Pocket Brass, which I have in a medium nib. A lot of my pens are mediums. It is my preferred nib size. And the ink in this is Pilot Iroshizuku Kujaku. Love this ink. This sort of peacock teal is just absolutely stunning and these Aroshizuku inks are so good the performance is great and the colors are great so this is something that I really really love and a combination that's really nice to use on an everyday basis next is another pen once again that I am reviewing it is the Himalaya uh, version 2 from Fountain Pen Revolution now this pen comes with a number of uh, different nib options uh, and one of which is their flex nib, which um, you can see here. Um, so what we have here is the fountain pen revolution, which is an American company who gets the pens made in India. Um, this is the Himalaya V2 with a flex nib. This, I think this is the ultra flex. Uh, the ink I have in this is Detrimentus Alexander Hamilton, which is also uh, aubergine. Um, really, really sort of beautiful purple ink. And in fact, uh, I use Lamy Dark Lilac a lot, um, but I often use this uh, instead of that because even though it's a slightly different purple, uh, it's still got a nice sort of um, a nice sort of purple sheen uh, with purple with gold sheen to it. Um, now this flex nib, you know, it's not too shabby for a, a little steel uh, flex nib, and particularly at this price point. And you know, just these pen models are actually quite nice. The material is nice, and I think uh, Kevin over there does a great job. Moving along to the next pen, uh, and it's an old favourite, the Twisby Eco. Uh, this is the black, and I've got it with broad nib, uh, and the ink I have in this, as you'll see in a minute, is Monteverde Iced Cookie. So we have the Twisby Eco with a broad nib, lovely broad nib, and Monteverde. Love Monteverde inks. Um, this is from the Sweet Life range. Um, 
they're just beautiful inks. They perform well. They've got great colors. Uh, and they're really affordable, which I love. Um, so this isn't too dissimilar in a lot of ways to Kujaku. Um, just a really lovely ink. And in this pen, I think it's a really beautiful combination. So now I'm down to the final two inks uh, from this particular uh, week um, and for two pens. And this is the Fuluen 017 model um, with the uh, snake roll stop there. I just love the material. Uh, and it was a surprise how well this pen wrote. Now, these last two inks are ones I'm super excited about. They're Australian, an Australian brand. Uh, they are from Standard Bindery. Uh, which is a really cool stationery store in Brisbane in Australia. And they've just released a range of six inks and uh, they were very kind to send me two to review. Um, so I'm working through those now. Um, this one uh, in the Fuller One is Clear Seas. So we have the Fuller One. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but yeah, double one seven. And this is the medium nib. And it's a really nice medium nib. It's, it's just steel, but it's just beautiful. And these are really affordable pens. Uh, but the acrylic is really nice. And the feel in the hand of this pen is great because it's quite large and it's got a good uh, size section on it. Uh, and it's standard bindery. Clear seas. These are new inks. Um, a couple of international retailers are taking them on, uh, but they can be gotten through standard bindery. But you really need to look at these inks. They're just absolutely beautiful. Like, check out some of that shading. It's a nice, not super saturated ink, but just beautiful and well behaved and love it. And that is also in this final pen of mine, which is the Diplomat, Diplomat Excellence A2. I've got the, I think it's called Evergreen or something color. Uh, Diplomat Steel Nib made by Yovo. Beautiful. Uh, and so this is the Diplomat Excellence. A2 with a medium nib and the ink is standard binary road trip such a beautiful green I call it like a meadow green or a field green um, not super vibrant a little bit dusty but very very nice now to recap We'll just run through these nice and close. This is the February edition of What I Am Writing With. We start with the Lamy 2000 uh, with Diamine Oxford Blue. Then the um, Laban Flame uh, with a broad nib with Aurora Black. Moonman T1 with Colour Traveller Kure Battleship Yamato Grey. The Twisby Diamond 580 with a medium nib with Colour uh, Traveller uh, Hiro Hiroshima Lemon Yellow. Monteverde Giant Sequoia with a medium nib with Color Traveler Time for Whiskey. Then we get the Milan Pro Pocket Brass uh, pen with Pilot Iroshizuku Kujaku. Then the Fountain Pen Revolution Himalaya V2 uh, with the, the Flex nib on it, the Ultra Flex, uh, with Dad Tremendous Alexander, Ham Alexander Hamilton, which you can see a bit of sheen there, which is nice. Um, the Twisby Eco Broad with Monteverde Sweet Life Iced Cookie, which is just such a beautiful ink and was in my top five inks for last year. Then the Fuluen uh, 017 with a medium nib with standard boundary clear seas. And then we round it out with the Diplomat Excellence A2 uh, with a medium nib with standard boundary road trip. So that's what I'm writing with this week. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Uh, please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here. Uh, if there are products you'd like to, uh, me to look at, let me know. If there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review like a few of these companies have, uh, please get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.